Joseph Van Der Beek is one of the biggest stars we've ever seen in the last couple years. Comes up and wants to see how you dress. I don't know how you play it. That's that is pretty crazy, and it's interesting because it's the second time, and the first time it happened, I, I don't remember when it was, but he actually told me his name and I'm like I know who you are man you don't you don't gotta say who you are you know so it, it's crazy it's crazy yeah it's definitely flattering man you know it's it's kind of like pain it, it's you know I've worked so hard to be in the position I am in and to have these guys that I looked over and, and I watched so much know who I am and respect my style and say hey man you you have good fights you're a tough guy I'm like oh, damn I might really be that you know I don't think I am but I might really be that <laughs> I don't think so, you know, I've always kind of try to, uh, you know, be a good looking guy and dress up good, but nothing super fancy either. I'm just ch chill and I, I use what I like and that's it. Away from to the now this fight with Steve Thompson's a huge fight. Is it a stepping stone moment? Because I was talking to Edwin Shabazi about Brad Tavares has lost to guys that have been too far from title. Is Steve Thompson like that guy that, man, I think right. I'm a lead. I'm the next level. Yeah. Is, it, is it a crazy trip moment right now? It definitely is. Uh, I think this is the biggest fight in my career at this point, and it's a big one for me. I'm, I'm really focused, really excited for this fight. Is I called him out, you know, after my last fight because I knew he wanted to come back at the end of the year, and I just thought it made sense, you know, a top ten guy. And my goal for this year is to be in the top ten, and I think that this guy is is my opportunity, you know. So focus on getting that big win on Saturday night. Now, he's lost three out of his last four, but there, you know, the Pettis fight, he was winning, uh, the, the, the Till fight, was beating a lot of people won. Is there a sense of, at 36 years old, do you think there is a climb, or he's still on at his highs level, he's always been, he just was tough losses? You know, uh, it's it's tough. You had guys fighting at high level all the way up to 40 and more than that, you know, like Dan Henderson. So I never know. What, me watching Pettis fight, I think he would look really good uh, physically, fast, same old uh, Thompson as always. So that's the Thompson I'm ready for, for the guy that faced uh, Tyron Woodley two times and put on a great fight. So that, that's what I'm ready for. If he is, you know, uh, feeling the age, I don't know. I don't really care about it. I hope he's not because I want to face the best Thompson. Now, I carry Barbarina. You know, he's a very good fighter. Stephen Thompson's another level. He's a different kind of technique. Is that part of the fear, the excitement, the fun that this is a tough kind of jump up technique for other guys? Definitely. I think all of those feelings, fear, uh, pressure, all of that is involved in this fight. And what I do with it is I take it all as motivation, you know. It's my opportunity. My opportunity to go there and do something that nobody has done before that is just dominate a guy like that, you know. And it's exciting for me. I'm a striker. I admire strikers like, like Thompson. So I really want to go in there and test myself, test my skill level against a guy like that. Now you mentioned that you called him out. Is that yeah, he has been one of the guys that I've been looking for just because of his style and because of his accomplishments. I've always loved watching his fights and man, for me to be able to fight him is it's an honor. Now they always say, you know, for guys that are so unique for history stuff, a lot of our main friends specific kind of training partners to get used to that, to, to marry that. Did you go to another gym or bring any partners that carry his style or who do you work with now? You focus with him? In my gym in Brazil, I had a kid that is a karate black belt. He fights in MMA, and he's a big fan of Thompson. So he was able to help me a lot with that. My final part of the camp was in Florida, so I worked with Adam Borix, and yeah, he emulated really well uh, uh, Thompson. So I definitely do that kind of work, especially to get the body language, you know, just really know kind of how he reacts. But mainly, I'm going to do my game. I'm going to do what I trust. I cannot change myself completely for one fight. So I'm going to do what I do, but I know kind of like what the reactions will be. 
So that helps a lot. Now people are gonna I, I doubt you because Thompson's protective. He's a point striker. You are a guy who likes to get in and get in the dirty. But is there something you feel you bring to Stephen Thompson that maybe he hasn't seen yet? Maybe a technique thing, a characteristic thing. What do you feel you bring into him that he's been able to see? I don't know. Uh, I definitely think I hit hard, and you know he has faced uh, Tyron Woodley, one of the heaviest hitters. But I think. I don't know, just my style overall, it's similar in some ways to other guys, but it's unique at the same time. I know how to put on the pressure, different than other guys do, so maybe that will be different. I don't know, but, I, but we'll see. In the fight is where we're going to see what's going to play out. Last question here, sir. Definitely, it's a, it's really special for me. I have my family. He's gonna be there. My dad, my aunt, my uncle, my cousins. So that's an extra special thing. And Madison Square Garden, only legends fight here. So for me to be able to be in this card fighting a, a legend like Thompson, it couldn't be more special, and I'm motivated for that. Usman, I'm biased, but I know that Usman, I just feel he's better in every single aspect.